hey what's up everyone it is chris from one more game mtg you know what it's at it is time for yet another episode of free for all brawl where i take historic brawl decks and basically see how well they do on arena so you know the usual routine we play five games overall definitely love this a lot it's very expensive don't get me wrong but again it's tons of, tons of fun on this episode we're going to be playing with marrow narrer it is the ultimate rat guy basically what it comes down to is you play a bunch of rats and make the rats massive and make more rats so all rats have fear sacrifice a rat create x11 rat creature tokens were x number of rats to control so basically get rid of one rat get a bunch of rats and you know how we're doing it we are playing with the rat Kelly. One Erdic Black for a 2-1 rat. Rat counter gets plus 1, plus 0 for each other rat you control. Deck can have any number of rats. We are playing with 35 rats. Um, it's a pretty good deck, in all honesty. It works. It's, in some sense, a glass casket, in a sense. We're like, if they keep killing your rats, you ain't doing anything. Especially since their power is only 1. So, being able to get out there way faster is well worth it. So, you got to keep an eye out for stuff like that. But, it's still pretty solid, not going to lie. Let's open all this up. Open all this up. Clear all this. So, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to go with probably two and three. That is my guess in all honesty. It is a weird deck, but I'm pretty stoked to play it. I'm hopefully, ho hopefully, hopefully going to be get the Marinar out there and like build the board part up pretty well. But generally what it comes down to is just smashing face. That's on all honesty what usually happens. So we're gonna get right into it and see how well the deck does. Let's get right into it. Let's make sure my record is not 0 and 5. Because we we haven't even started yet. Alright, pop that there. 0 and 0. Alright, let's get right into the gameplay and see how well the Marrow Nora does in Historic Brawl. Alright, let's get into game one, the actual game one, and see how well it does. Okay, we're facing the first sliver. If it's a true sliver deck, that's not that fun. It's fun. It's very fun, don't get me wrong, but it's just crazy, crazy. In return one, we're going to do a Dread Fugue, and then follow from there. I do have the Cabal Stronghold. Thankfully, this taps for mana on its own. Because I wanted to see what they have in their hand. Try to slow them down a little bit. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to get rid of. The Mana Weft Sliver can make this deck go crazy, crazy, really quickly. So we're going to start off by getting the Rat Colony out there right away. Because I think that's going to be the best value overall. No next turn. Interesting. So let's get down the Rat Colony again. Swing in for the three. So what you're going to see with this deck is that the power gets up very, very fast. All right, turn three, they have a Cold Seal Heart. They do not have more that's interesting we'll get a rat colony down and a curse bound swinging for eight now there's a good chance we're going to win this one just because we are so high up there with the power next turn we do have the game 12 13 oh the celestis okay so they do have a removal okay that's kind of expected that's not a problem there all right let's get down the marinar this is not a rat kind of wish that it was a rat that'd be kind of cool any wraths on the board i don't think they have a wrath they may be just playing the first sliver in a sense just to get the, the cascade effect all right that is one and oh off to a decent start not bad all right let's get to the next one off to a pretty fast start in all honesty so Hopefully we can get someone from there. Okay, so opening hand, this one's very similar to what it was before. It duress turn one. I want to get to a new goal. Start a new goal. All right, wizard class, how it starts off. Start the goal. Copy this. Pop this over here. All right, browser source. 
goal oh that's aggressively large how, how, how is that everyone my goal is a bajillion sizes over uh minimize this i'll close that delete this no all right so turn one let's get this out of there duress our opponent get rid of the mind stone it's good to get rid of the mind stone right now because it slows down their ramp they do have a spell pierce what up smoky all right get this there i lost my camera again internet temp yada yada that's what else uh they have a spell pierce, so I'll just force it out of them. I doubt that is it. Yeah, non-creature. So my entire deck's creatures, so that's not gonna do anything. Let's get my cam link. Deactivate, reactivate. Alright, next one. We'll do it again. Doing pretty well. My camera's not working for every reason, so I'm a little confused by that one. I keep disconnecting and reconnecting, you know? We'll just turn it off for now and I'll fix it in just a second. Uh, cam link. All right, that is up in the class. So I'm gonna get down two rat colonies right now. Yeah, we're just playing the usual brawl games, trying to get the, the five O's. And honestly, I'm already one O immediately. So it's doing pretty solid. Like rat decks are like one of those decks where like, you don't assume it's going to do so well and then it just does so well. All right, let's do get another rat out there. I don't know if they have a counter for this one because if they don't, then it's probably get, yeah. See, boom, too well. Like it's crazy how fast like these decks work. Like in all honesty, I'll fix that later. All right, Corvold. Yeah, I know how Corvold works. It's one of those that just wrecks house so often. Uh, opening hand. Not the craziest. I'm going to mull this. Better. It's still not the greatest, obviously. But it's better than it used to be. I'm kind of new to Arena. I've been playing Magic for 10 years. Let's get to go another one. Usually what I'll play Smoky is like Commander. It's difficult to play like Magic Online because it just takes so much longer. And the overall cost is so much like less to play Magic Online. But because of that, people just play the top most things possible. And it's nearly impossible to get a decent game out there unless you're playing like the most utmost powerful things. Like you can get a OG dual land for like two, three bucks. It's crazy. So because of that, I, I try to play Arena. But a lot of times with Arena, you're getting the same concept. Uh, opening hand, we have a Cursed Witch. And just the overall, the format, like... It's just so much more smooth for Arena than it is like for other things. All right, keep this. They're going first again. Keep the opening seven. Like I have the Curse Bound Witch in here just to literally deal with some, like just have an option. All right, get in for this. Yeah, and like literally, B Hook and Paper is for it. That's literally insane. It's. Obviously, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's a very good card. But the fact is, it's that expensive. And, like, even right now, I started building Popper Commander. And those decks, $50 max, usually. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I'll play it. Uh, Field Run, Red Colony. So, you're going online, and you're playing... The same things over and over again. Oh, I can't even see my uh, the record. Let's move it up to here. Yeah, that's better. This is, get that out there. Put this down there. No attacks. I'm going to leave open the rat to kill the Tranko. Oh, ru runes? Why is that a thing? And then they put it attached. Okay. All right, makes a bunch of one ones. I'm going to block this. I'll take the two. All Cause now we got to cast two rat colonies. If I get a land on the next one, I'm obviously going to swing in. 
Oh, wait, with the uh, Marinar. Alright, Hobgoblin. First strike. No blocks. Alright, get this. Marinar. Everything has fear now. So that's 15 damage. That's the biggest thing about the Marinar. It's got fear on top of Verrett's. Uh, that's how I feel. I want to play against different decks, not just meat hooks. That damn ooze cream. Dude, yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, that's a 5-2. Alright, that's 3, 4, 9. Go to 9. That's fine. Do they have the double striker? Interesting. Alright, take 8 and game. Alright. 3 no. Wow. Yeah, a lot of formats, there's usually just those, like, one or two cards that just eat up the entire format. Like, even the commander, like, you're playing the same things over and over and over again. Goblins are solid because it's such a low cost. Like, what I have for my goblin deck is I use, um, what is the name, Torbran, on addition to the other goblins, just because it runs very well. To get that extra, like, two bits of damage on a 1-1. One -one. Alright, we're facing Zagreus, Thief of Heartbeats. I like this guy a lot. I have it in my Vampire build. Uh, costs one less for each creature you control in your party. And attack and creatures you control have Death Touch. Uh, turn one, So, turn two, I want to obviously get the Signet down there. Because then turn three, I have multiple rats. Alright, other creatures you control have Death Touch. When our creature you control deals combat, they control Planeswalker, destroy. So, it's like Planeswalker, Death Touch. Gutter Bones, tapped. Uh, Arena. I think since it came out, actually. Alright, Stronghold and Signet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was part of the beta when it came out, and I've been, I've been playing since then. The downfall of it is just a, if you want to play Arena like actual standard arena or something along those lines, it is a very, very expensive thing because you got to craft the cards. And because of that, it just adds up so much. What's the difference in the modes? What do you mean by modes? Like the different uh, games or formats? Like, what do you mean? Alright, no, no differences there. Alright, uh, I'll take the three. I'm fine with that. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the marrow down. They obviously have something because they're holding up. They keep pausing between mo uh, steps. Fear is black, right? Yeah, black. Ah, oh, Frostbite. Okay. I don't know why they didn't do it to the Maronora, though. Oh, like, what's Alchemy Explorer? Uh, Alchemy is where... Th what they're basically doing is, if they want to, like, do... They were, like, testing the waters out for certain cards. So, for example, they want to have, instead of being the rat colony where you can have as many as you want, they're adjusting the system to automatically go, oh, no, you can only have 10 in the deck. So they're going in their way to, oh, Massacre Worm. That's not good. <laughs> um, shit. Um, that sucks. It's going to be minus two, minus two. I have no buffs on anything. Damn it, I didn't mean to attack with that. Uh, and then Explorer is like Pioneer for standard. This is so unfortunate. My entire board's going to die right now. Yeah, I say. I have a removal effect. Yeah, Alchemy, like... There's... The card that puts a, a plus one, plus one counter... 
on each cre on a creature you control being a combat. What it does, it puts it at the end step. So stuff like that. All right, destroy that. And explorers, they say it's the exact same as Pioneer, but they're trying to like build it up, where you have the option to like play certain like. A Pioneer is becoming a really good format because it's the, like no fetch lands and whatnot in it, so they're putting that into Al uh, Explorer to try to bring people back in. Um, Zangief, uh, Zagros comes down. I kind of want to just. I need to, which is unfortunate. All right, gain two. And I take four. I didn't even gain the two. Damn it, I forgot about that. And the gutter bones comes back down. I don't have a wrath, I believe. Yeah, rat colony. Discards two cards, only one card in their hand. Yeah, that's game. I don't have flyers. All right, record three and one. Uh, yeah, I'm good with this. Why do they go? They win first every single one of them. No, we don't want the goal height to be 25. I can barely see that one. All right, turn that off for now. Uh, turn one thought sees. It just makes the most sense. What do we got here? It's ass crack. Uh, I'll get rid of the mind leech. All right, next turn. Pay two for rack, uh, signet into a rat colony. Discard pretender. Yeah, just sort of pretender. One, two, and three. All right. Ugh, really? That's aggravating. I still have another one, but it's still aggravating. Activate this. Look at the top of the to Put one in your hand. The rest in the library. Put in my hand. I'm going to the icon. Is that the alchemy I can... Oh, the ancestry. I'll play that to give it plus one, plus one. This is... Each, one second. Each end step. Each one losing life that... Oh, it's the, the double thing. Um, let's do the banner. For now. Naming rats. That way, when I cast my Marinar, I'll be able to draw a card. Alright, Bag of Holding. Draw a card, discard. What are you discarding? Like... They're digging for something. Oh, okay, they got the land. That's unfortunate. I was hoping they wouldn't get the land. Um, Do I want to do that now? Yeah, it's fine. Because they have blocks, so like, the whole fear option is not going to do anything. Rat, done. Now my rat's are at least bigger. It's five, end the turn. If I can get, that's seven mana for that? That's insane. Why is that seven mana? Like, I can understand it's a really good one, but it's seven freaking mana. Uh, get that up there. All right, cast the rat down. Draw a card. Deal with combat damage. No attacks. Goblin Warlock. Five, six. If I get one more land, I'm definitely going to do the Warlock class. Oh, removal. I knew they had the removal. What am I doing? <laughs> Hit the action. That's going to be seven mana for that now. Yeah, I don't need to worry about this. Put that there. You get a little buff. All right. Go get your games that's on turn when a crypt creature attacks all alone. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's fine. Fully okay with that. 
the dungeon mechanic is is not bad. I just don't like see like crazy value in it. All right, two rats. All right, draw a card. Brutal effigy. All right, rats on top. Swinging for five. That's four to do this. I'm assuming Asura Asura Rock <laughs> is gonna coming down soon. Close this over there. Uh, where the heck was all my stuff? All right, Ass Crack comes down. Scry one. All right. So here's the thing, like, I'm going to play two Dark Creature Can't Attack, which was this one. Who'd they talk at? Oh, this one, the Red Colony. All right, Red Colony draw. Red Colony draw. Land. Red Colony. That game. I only have the one rat colony. These dudes fly? Oh, I gotta think twice about these things. No attacks. Bro, these things fly off the top at the top deck. Alright, Asura Rock. Is it just Asarok? I clearly can't, like, say words. All right. Asura comes back down. All right. Make up two dudes. Like, these dudes fly, so I'm fully cool with that. I have to play one. Yeah, I'll gladly chump this. Cause they're gonna be huge now, so I'm fine with it. All right, good game. Like, look to the amount of damage this thing does. Look at that. They can walk the two dudes on the ground, but then it's 20 damage in the air. It's freaking insane. For such a basic deck, it does so much work. All right, claim that. Let's go to the deck. We're gonna do a little review real quick. And then we'll get into our next one. So yeah, Maranara does work. It really does. I went three, a uh, four and one, which I, it was very close to a 5-0. Not going to lie. So, as you see, what is over here, actually? We'll see what that does. I'll put it over here. No, nope, don't move that one. Is that the background that I'm moving? I don't even know. All right, so overall, deck did very, very well. I'm shocked at how well the Maronara really does. Uh, rate the deck. Playability, like for power-wise, a forward of five. If you should build it, it's not the funnest because it's it's the same thing. Just cast a bunch of rat colonies. The same thing with Relentless Rats. You just cast a bunch of rats and win. Like, yeah, you're winning, but meh. Overall, I didn't like the deck. How would you would you build it up? Because I personally, I'm up in the air about that. Like, it would say like a paper. On Alchemy, go ahead, build it. Because it's an easy way to just rank up some stuff and like get the different levels. Uh, thank you for watching the Maronora. We're going to get into like several more games. It's only 1 o'clock, and I have all day to play some Arena. So I'm going to keep doing it over and over again. Remember, everyone, like, share, subscribe if you're still watching right now. I uh, appreciate it tons. I want to get to my goal of 150 by the end of the week. So, again, like, share, follow me, please, and thank you.